I know that you are having a hard time right now That everything seems to crumble around you I know that you feel all alone in this world But you have to Hi everyone, welcome to today's fall clean and decorate with me. This is part two. If you haven't seen part one of my fall clean and decorate, I will link it for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to be cleaning and decorating my master bedroom for fall. I'm also going to be showing you guys a really delicious and healthy granola bar recipe that has chocolate chips in it. And it's just so easy to make and it's super healthy. And uh, I wanted to show you guys all the decor I got from the Dollar Tree. So I went to our nearest Dollar Tree and I love shopping there because everything is only a dollar super cheap but every year for fall they have a bunch of really fun decor they have all these fun leaves they have little garlands and just cute little decor pieces i just don't like spending a lot of money on decor and i like things very simple so i found a bunch of really cute signs and pumpkins and little owls so today i'm just going to be using these simple things that i found at the dollar tree to decorate my master bedroom so i thought i would share that with you guys i hope you enjoyed today's video and let's get started with today's fall clean and decorate with me Trust into us and we will help you through Cause we only want what's best What's best for you putting a little candle, a little pumpkin, a little owl on the nightstands. I like to keep this part really simple and not too many things on there just because I do have a wild toddler who just comes in in the mornings or throughout the day and just 
plays with everything so I really don't want him getting into all the decor especially the candles so I do keep it pretty simple because most of the time I have to move it so he doesn't reach anything but yeah I like to keep this part pretty simple and I got these little candles from the Dollar Tree that smell amazing they smell like apples and like fall and um so I like to put a little book or something to put the decor on and I just think it looks simple and cute and then here I'm just using the garlands that I found at the Dollar Tree that are super cute and have the little leaves on them. It looks very festive for fall. And just putting these on my headboard and I just think it looks very nice. And uh, I'm glad I didn't spend a lot of money on the garlands because they can be pretty pricey. And this one turned out very simple and really cute. I'm also taking the little lights that are in a battery timer. They're just the very thin ones that you can get literally anywhere. And I'm just wrapping them around the leaves so I can have some cute little lights around them and around the headboard. This looks very simple, but just adds a little extra cozy touch to the decor. And I just love how this looks. Lights always make everything super cozy and very homey. So I definitely recommend adding a few simple lights around your home. And it's just going to make it feel really nice for fall. I'm thinking of you. I'm thinking of you. I'm thinking of you. Wondering if you're thinking about me too Now it's too late Now it's too late I'm out of time But I'm still thinking of you My heart keeps on bleeding I have scars, the ones that healing They're all there because of you It's my fault I messed it up and I should have treated you much better So much better I miss you so bad, won't you come back to me? I've got you in my head, you're all that I see I've lost all my chances, I know that I am too late I'm thinking of you I'm thinking of you I'm thinking of you Wondering if you're thinking about me too Now it's too late I know it's too late I'm out of time But I'm still thinking of because we don't have a lot of storage space so I have to put like very minimal stuff on the counters especially so I just put a little sign on there from the Dollar Tree and a little pumpkin with an H on it for our last name and then just putting a little white towel and then like another little orange towel or whatever towel you have that's pretty festive around the other towel just adds a little bit more color on there and I just think it looks very simple and a lot more homey so adding small little touches like that just helps it look festive without going over the top especially if you don't have a lot of storage space
So here I'm just finishing vacuuming my bedroom. I wanted to mention my favorite vacuum because it's literally amazing, you guys, and I get questions all the time on it. But it's cordless and it has like the chargeable battery and uh, the top comes off so you can have um, more pieces to vacuum under those hard to reach places. And the light on the bottom is literally amazing. It helps you vacuum at night and not miss like the little dust pieces or anything on the floor. So I definitely recommend getting it. I will link it down below for you guys. And I promise you will absolutely love it because it's also way less expensive than the Dyson. And then on to the last part, which is the healthy chocolate chip granola this is so easy to make you guys set your oven to 375 and uh, you can start preparing all the ingredients which is like very minimal ingredients you just need some wax paper and some dark chocolate chips or any chocolate chips some old-fashioned oats and i am using cinnamon dolce syrup some peanut butter, it doesn't have to be crunchy or anything. And then I also got some organic cinnamon, got two bananas, and you also need a bowl to put everything in. And honestly, this is like the easiest little breakfast to make or just you can eat them during the day and it's so delicious, especially for fall time. I just love having like a little snack mid-afternoon or something to drink my coffee with. And this is the perfect little fall snack or fall morning breakfast it's so good just place two bananas in a blender or if they're pretty ripe already you don't even need a blender you just kind of mesh it up with a spoon or a fork and then i like to just blend it all together So I used one cup of oats, but you can kind of eye it whenever you're doing it. Make sure the mixture is not too runny, but also not too thick. So you can kind of add however much of stuff that you want. And then I added about um, a little bit less than a cup of peanut butter. And I added a little bit of cinnamon dolce syrup to it just to make it taste a little bit sweeter and I just love cinnamon dolce syrup so I always like putting that in my coffee too and it's just sweet but you can also substitute that with any kind of syrup or even honey sometimes I'll put honey in mine and it also tastes really good so you can kind of play around with the recipe I just add whatever I feel like that day but for uh, this time around for fall especially I think the cinnamon and cinnamon dolce tastes so good and um, I just add a bunch of cinnamon to it and uh, some uh, dark chocolate chips. These are the ones that I buy from Walmart and there's zero sugar and like zero everything. They're a lot healthier. So if you don't have the dark chocolate ones or if you don't like the dark chocolate ones, I think they have the ones that are just milk chocolate and they're also zero sugar. So I tend to find like the healthier ones and I know Whole Foods or even Amazon sells a bunch of chocolate chips that you can get that are a lot healthier and not a lot of sugar. So just mix everything together, make sure it's not too runny, it has like a thicker texture but not too thick. And then you're just gonna spread it all over the pan. I usually don't make the whole pan, I only make like half of a pan because they are pretty filling and I like to keep them pretty fresh. So if I make the whole pan, they don't get eaten. And um, yeah, that's why I only, only make half of a pan and they're perfect for like taking on road trips or if you're on the run or I'll give these to my toddler throughout the day and they're just really good and give you a lot more energy throughout the day.
to bake the granola bars in the oven for about 15 minutes, but depending on your oven and how hot it gets, you can kind of check it. I uh, get them uh, out whenever they're not too hard. They're still a little bit softer, and then I let them sit for about 20 minutes just so they cool down a little bit and they're a lot easier to cut. And then you can also put them in the fridge for a little bit and just so they get cooler faster and they turn out so good. You can add a little bit more cinnamon at the top or add some honey on the top or drizzle a little bit of honey on the top and they turned out so good, you guys. They're literally delicious. It's so homey and such a good snack with coffee or just throughout the day. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoy them. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this fall clean and decorate with me. I think everything turned out so good and I just love fall time and I love the leaves and all the pumpkins and all the decor and all the smells. It's just such a cozy time of the year and I hope you guys enjoy it as much as I do and enjoyed cleaning and decorating with me today. I love how cozy everything looks and just adding a few simple touches. You don't have to go overboard for decorating. You don't have to spend a ton of money. Just a few simple touches make everything look so cozy. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and got a lot of decorating and cleaning with me or got a few ideas of what you wanna do. And don't forget to subscribe and thumbs up this video. Let me know down in the comments below what you're decorating or what your favorite time of the year is. I hope you guys have an amazing day and I'll see you guys in my next video.